Welcome to the Canelo Kovalev Fight Week here in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Bethel Duran. Saturday night on DAZN, exclusively on DAZN, you'll be able to watch Canelo Alvarez and Sergey Crusher Kovalev go at it at 135 pounds at the MGM. But before that, an action-packed undercard will be coming your way worldwide. And today we have the undercard fighters here for the final undercard press conference. And Saturday night in a bout presented by Golden Boy, main events and Crusher Promotions, the biggest star in the sport of boxing is moving up two weight divisions, take on the most dangerous puncher in recent years for the WBO Light Heavyweight World Championship. We'll get going with the president of Golden Boy, Eric Gomez. Thank you, Beto. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you guys for being here, uh, supporting us for the Sunday Card uh, press conference. Uh, yesterday, we had a chance to talk about the historic main event, Canelo versus Kovalev. Uh, but as in any big event, obviously you have the undercard, and uh, we have all these rising stars that are going to contribute in making this a special event on Saturday night. So I want to thank all of you guys. Um, and the co-feature, Ryan Garcia, wants to prove that he can be the next big star in boxing. But he's facing a tough customer and uh, Romero Duno that knows that with a victory, uh, he's right in line to fight or challenge of a world title. So that's an important fight for both fighters. And finally, we want to talk about Saturday's co-main event, which features two hard-hitting lightweights in the Golden Boy stable. A few years ago, working a small club show at the Belasco, Christian Gonzalez was an undefeated Golden Boy prospect. And they found a Filipino opponent named Romero Duna who showed up, no English. And I can think I can say this, Romero, you were a little scared to be in that room with 14 people looking at you. A monster knockout changed his career, changed everybody's career. Golden Boy signed him after that. And now he's fighting as a co-main on Canelo Kovalev from the Philippines, Romero Duno. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, good morning. And... Uh, I would like to thank uh, Golden Boy Promotion for giving me a chance to fight this event, uh, a very big event for me. And I would like to thank um, Sir Robert Diaz for making this match happen. And I would like to thank uh, Ryan Garcia for accepting uh, the, the match. And to all of the media who see here right now, and thank you so much. And to all the fans, thank you. And enjoy the match this upcoming November 2. Thank you. Salama Ryan Garcia is going to be his opponent. Did I really introduce him? Ryan Garcia. <laughs> is that velvet? Is that velvet? What's up, guys? Uh, it's pretty cold in here, but uh, I want to thank. <laughs> Damn, it's super cold in here. Um, I know, right? Hey, I look good. I got to show it off, right? Um, but um, I want to thank Golden Boy Promotions uh, for putting on this event and this fight and having me on the card as co an event. Uh, I want to thank the zone. I want to thank everybody that's involved in making these fights happen. Um, you know, this fight is a it's a big fight, a big moment. You know, uh, there's a lot of hype around it. Uh, a lot of things been said. You know, about me uh, for not taking the fight in September. But look, I'm taking it now. This is where it had to be. It's a big moment on a big stage. And you know, you got two hungry fighters, two prospects. And, you know, Romero Duno, he's a knockout puncher. He's going to come and try to knock me out. So, you know, you guys need to be excited for this fight because it's very dangerous. And I took it, and I want to prove to you guys that what kind of fighter I am. So I took a, you know, I took a young fighter that's up and coming, so he's hungry. I didn't take an old guy. I didn't take an old veteran that's out the door. I took a young, hungry, hard-hitting fighter. So uh, I hope to prove everybody wrong, but, you know, I probably won't get my respect at the end of the day. But it's okay because as long as I put on the best performance I can and leave the best show I can for November 2nd, everybody tune in. Let's go. And, yes, that is Velvet. Good job, Ryan. Stay, stay fresh. You got to do that. Before we go, we ask a couple questions of the fighters for Saturday. Blair Cobbs, you were knocked down in your last fight. You got up and knocked out your opponent. Are you more than just that woo? Who are you, Blair Cobbs? I am. 
Grab the mic there, Blair. Come on now. We know you don't need it, but here you go. For, for the cameras, bro. For the cameras. Yeah, I'm, I'm loud enough. <laughs> don't make me go crazy in here. Well, well go ahead. We'll get you. We'll go, we'll go for it. Do it. I am the most exciting man in boxing today. This Why? Is. Why are you the most exciting? Because it doesn't matter who you put me in there with. You're going to see an exciting fight every time out. Knockouts, drag out wars. You're going to see blood. You're going to see action. You're going to see tears. You're going to see somebody that's going to hate me. And people that love me and the people that hate me are going to raise up. They're going to rise and give a great applause. He's not done. Words from the great one. <laughs> Blair the Flair Cobb. You guys got enough for that? We got we good, Blair? We'll see him Saturday night opening up the Zone show right after 6 o'clock. Ryan, you came up here and you said no matter what, you're not going to get respect on Saturday. Why? Why do you feel that way? I just got a lot of haters and, you know, they want to see me lose. So even if I knock him out or I put on a beautiful boxing performance, she's not going to give me my respect. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with... Uh, being confident in myself and w the way I, I feel like I, if I perform good, then I feel good, you know, no matter what anybody says. But, you know, I have a lot of respect for Romero Duno, you know. For the most part, he's very humble. Sometimes, you know, it confuses me when he wears T-shirts that say, you know, Ryan Garcia, you're running. So, honestly, I just, I'm, I'm very confused at the end of the day. But I really do have respect for him. I really do. He's a, he's a good person. Yeah. So what Ryan's referencing after Romero's last fight at the StubHub last month, when Ryan's card fight was scrapped, Romero fought, won, and afterwards had a shirt that said Ryan Garcia ducking me. Why did you wear that shirt, Romero? Because I want uh, to give the fans uh, that, what, what they want. They said that, that they, want to, they want me to fight uh, King Ryan, then I give the fans. You would have fought him that day? What? You would have fought him on, in Carson? Yeah. You were ready for it? Yeah, I mean, I was ready. But, but he's here for you. Romero, you started your career, if you want to call it that, fighting in the streets in the Philippines yeah, on unsanctioned that. amateur fights. It's basically somebody's backyard. Mm -hmm. Now to be fighting in Las Vegas as a co-main, how does that make you feel? I, I didn't imagine that I, I came here right now that fighting in a big card like this one, but uh, it's a very big uh, opportunity for me to, to show the world that uh, not only Manny Pacquiao can do a... Do a history in boxing in the Philippines. There's a lot of Filipino fighters that can do that. Yeah. And Saturday night, Romero Duno takes on Ryan Garcia. Ryan, your prediction for this fight? Yeah, I just feel like, you know, my skills are, um, are obviously better. You know, I'm not going to say that, um, that he's, you know, better than me or it's going to be good for. I just feel like I'm going to win fairly easy, and that's just what I'm confident uh, with. And I don't see it going all 12 rounds. Um, and that's just, oh, 10 rounds, sorry. That confused me when we said WBC silver title. I'm like, damn, all these titles confuse me. But, yeah, 10 rounds, uh, I don't see it going 10 rounds. Yeah. Knockout? Yeah. You hear from Ryan Garcia. He's knocking out Romero Duno Saturday night. It's fight season on the zone. That'll do it for our press conference. The fighters will not face off. We will take a big group picture for everybody. So thanks, everybody, watching us around the world for... Kathy Duba, Eric Gomez, and everybody involved, thanks for watching. Saturday night on the zone, Canelo Kovala, the main event. The undercar starting to heat up. See you Saturday from the MGM. <laughs>